time did you get in? What time did you get in today? What time did you get in today? Got in around uh, one thirty. Yeah, or so. Yeah, yeah you so. were already here. Yep, yep. Uh, you know, just taking care of some some stream some stream stuff. You know, setting things up. Yeah, I came in and then I was like, I ate some sushi. Yep. And what uh, kind of sushi did you get? I got um, I got that what? Start it. Oh no. Oh. Tell me about your sushi. I got uh, that sushi that's like avocado and it's got cream cheese and caviar on yeah, it. Yeah, the California rolls, man. Yeah, California like rolls are super good. Um, I never thought cream cheese would in be a, a sushi good would be acceptable. That's crazy. Yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah, it was a good lunch. So there's that place right down the street from here that uh, I tried out. At uh, they have some cool, some crazy sushi things, and uh, and I saw like there's another place that I tried uh, not too long ago where they had sushi pizza. And I was like, what's the deal? What's, like, sushi pizza? Um... Yeah, sushi pizza? Wait, hold on. Oh, wait, wait, back, 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 back. What? Pick the same guy. It was this guy. It was that guy. Yeah, it was this guy. Yeah, don't worry about it. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, man, and they, 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 had, they got all kinds of crazy tech going on, and yeah, whatever. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, um, all kinds of tech, crazy tech going on with sushi Previously and shit. Previously on Minecraft Story And, uh, I, I was like, you know, as long as you give me the ginger in between, and as long as you give me the, the wasabi... I don't care for the ginger. Really? Ironically. And well, the, the, it's, a, it's pretty important, though, because it's, it's to cleanse the palate in between pieces, right? So you eat the, the the ginger to like get rid of the sort of the taste of the last piece of sushi in a way, the and then eat another danger, one. Well, my problem is I can't stand the taste of ginger. Ah, uh, ironic. <laughs> yeah, no. I, I already did that. Do you remember any of this? What? Yeah, fucking what? Any, anyway, <laughs> um, there's a. Uh, yeah, yeah, no. I, I think um. The type of sushi I like best is the ones where they like deep fry it and you get the the flaky sort of like te teriyaki crust around the edge. Like tempura kind of tempura, thing? Tempura, yeah, 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 that shit's great. Nice and teriyaki, I'm a tempura. I gotta, I gotta admit, I'm not the biggest fan of sushi. Like, every time I go out, like, I'll enjoy it, but I, 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 I don't think I've ever sat there and been like, Boy, I could really go for some sushi. You know, like... Yeah, it, it's, it's every couple months it comes around, you know? Like in particular, I, like I, I when I look at the menus, I wish I would be one of those people that could be like, I know what exactly like hosomaki and like what everything is yeah. by name and shit. But I actually don't. like George. Oh, come on, sure, Jesse. like George. Not even having a little fun. I feel like uh, I mean, if you go watch Jiro, Jiro Dreams of Sushi, I mean, sure yeah, that puts you in the mood for some sushi. This is our chance to be heroes. Yeah. Is that a pig? In the what, are you, what are you talking Enjoy about? Look, anyway. Um, I think... Well, we can't ignore it the whole time. What do you... What, what, ignore though. what? Yeah, that's right. Anything. Ignore that's, what? That's right. I'm talking about sushi. So I was setting together. up the stream, the though, and, uh... How's the stream going? It's going pretty good. Like, I got, I got some fun new stuff for the break screens, like some new music and uh -huh. some new, like, uh, um, you know things what? and whatnot. Right. It's really complicated, though, yeah. to, yeah. like, run the docket and everything and keep track of the levels and when we are in the podcast and Just give up on one of those. But... Also, the, the the video feed. You know what I mean? Like just it's adding, like you're let's playing the feed. There's so much to keep track of mentally during each podcast. It's really really intense. Um, most people I know have like a setup where they they basically have someone doing those sh camera shots and so on mm -hmm. and so forth. It's been working out fine. Man, I'm this controller feels really good on my lap, out of my hands. Yeah, man, they're, they're pretty com comfy for that. Those new white Xbox controllers. Okay, so controllers. I, I want to talk about this new white Xbox controller. It's interesting, a lot isn't it? Because I have issues with the um, what the? Just um, uh, don't yeah. Miss, okay. okay. I have uh, I don't know what's happening. Uh, yeah. I I have issues with the Elite controller. Mm -hmm. Um. I don't like how heavy it is. Really? Because the weight is what I love about it. I I have tiny baby hands. Um, what it was it want me to die? Uh, oh, okay, that's fine. Um, but I have tiny baby hands, and I don't like a really heavy controller. I want a controller that is so light that I feel like I could snap it in half. But what about what about arcade sticks? Well, arcade stick is different. Arcade st arcade stick is not a is not a manette. Okay, because the heavier arcade stick seems like good because it's. Oh yeah, I like I like a lap bore. I like a, a fucking lap annihilator. Yeah. When yeah, I when I when I play an arcade stick, I want the heaviest thing I can get. But a heavy controller bugs you. Heavy control, because because I just feel more comfortable when there's nothing in my hands, hmm. and the closer I can get to nothing, the better it is. Well, then you then what's your problem with touchscreen controls? 
Oh, poo. How about that? Oh, wow. Okay, I guess I guess input guess is required. Yeah, okay. so I guess re uh, input is required. The mine cards. Uh, yeah. <sighs> then, like you know, like because the technically like no buttons, no tactile feedback. No, whatsoever. fuck you. No, I'm talking purely weight based. This way. Purely this weight. Way. Okay. Uh, so the white controllers come in in between the elites and the original defaults. I think they're actually lighter than the originals. They're very nice. I have to say I was surprised. There's times Just when uh, the white controller is okay. preferable. I yeah, but uh, I also more. prefer the matte finish to the yeah, um, yeah, to the, the rubberized finish. I know what you mean. I alter at home. I alternate. I, I I alternate as well. Yeah. There's, There's times when I want one or the other. Yeah. I love the metallic feel of the shoulder uh, buttons, though. LT to attack is the worst, dude. Oh, just, just gotta like knock a thing back or something. No, it's fine. I'll just. Skewered. There. Yeah. Did it. Great. Amazing gameplay. So I thought that uh, the 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 feel of the buttons, though, particularly the shoulder buttons. Fuck is, the pig. Is a really good improvement. Time to move, buddy. Um, Let's go. Yeah. The, the the Xbox controllers have always had like kind of junk shoulder buttons, and the, they even went out of their way to not call them buttons. That's why they were called bumpers, bumpers. in nearly every single thing. It's like. Yes. That is like I get it, but at the same time, the like, up until boom the Elite, down. and up until yeah. this new white one, boom they've down. been fucking terrible. Just awful. They would break really often, too, particularly the right bumper. A yeah. lot of people... Well, it's, it's really heavily used. I this think, um, though, that the, the, at, the, at this point in the generation, yeah. the, the Xbox like controller the firmly beats time. out the PlayStation 4 controller. Maybe you should take this one again. I'm, I'm, I firmly so they, 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 feel more... I, and it might just be through use. No. Familiarity? It's, it's not use, it's not familiarity. They both have very specific strengths, and you may not be encountering the kinds of genres that require one strength or the other, right? So, like, I, I've been using both of them for ages, because I play FF14 with a PlayStation 4 controller, and I play Dark Souls with a PlayStation 4 controller, right? Yeah. Uh, but I play almost everything else with a 360 pad, uh, 360 Elite or Xbox One pad of, of any stripe, and they they do have like varying. Oh, what do you want? Okay, they do have varying strengths. The number one strength I find for the PlayStation 4 controller is that there's less weight on the trigger pull. There is less weight on the trigger it's pull. It's yeah, very correct. significantly less now. For most games, that's not a big deal. But for something like FF14, where you're holding down the triggers in order to hit buttons, in order to trigger abilities, yeah. you're constantly, constantly holding those, and a lighter pull helps a lot. Also, depending on what you're playing and what speed you're gonna be hitting these buttons at, yeah. I either yeah. prefer the concave or flat, sorry, convex or flat ones. Well, that's where, well, uh, on the weight of the pull, that's where the elite comes in handy because you can actually hit those back switches so the, upwards the problem with that, to create the buttons out of them. The problem with that is that on PC, that's Your not implemented all that well, and oftentimes you hit you that, and then it doesn't pull far enough. Oh, you don't to, get a register. Because most games don't register them as analog Whoa. inputs. They um, they register like the analog input, okay. and once it hits the halfway point, they yeah. trigger a digital yeah. input. Okay. And when you turn that on, all of a sudden, you just turned off your trigger button. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and it's a huge pain. When mapping Dolphin, you can actually see the point at which it triggers the input yeah. versus... So, point. ironically, now, after all this time, the D-pad on the, on the Xbox One pad is way better. Yeah, um, it's uh, especially the elite. There's no comparison. The touch, the touchpad as well has its uses, but I, but the main thing that I loathe every time I grab a PS4 controller is the options button and the share button. Okay, and just the awkwardness of oh, their position. So different griefers. My favorite part about that bullshit is on PC. All I do every time is I always set it so that the options button, the share button, is unused, and the giant button in the middle is just select. Yeah, okay, that's fine. And, mo and that's what all PlayStation 4 games do. Uh... Because okay. share is never oh, oh, used for... You, you mean, you mean you actually mean the touchpad button? Yeah, the touchpad slide button is just yes, a big yeah, button. Yeah, the click, yeah, 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 okay. I, I you know, I, but it's just it's just annoying that, like, you, you just have those well, there. I kind of, I, I really don't like Boom that about it. Um, I, 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 I do, I do like think? the games that like are able to use home. it as multiple buttons. These are my people. Yeah, left, the left and right. And such. Those, those I like good. that much better than sliding. Those are dope. Sliding. Don't worry, Jesse. You've got me, I and I totally know how to roll with these guys. Um, 
I think, uh, I mean, as long as we, we have the choice to alternate, but, like, I feel like we were going to have more 360 or slash X-Bone controllers in the office. Wow. Yeah. Um, and, and, you know, it, it's kind of you become the default. I, 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 I use it as, souvenir, as the default for almost every game. Yeah. There's But there's specific games that I'm like, Good no, call, I want buddy. this PlayStation 4. So the Soul series, I'm not going to play with a uh, 360 right. variant right. because right. Shield is then on the left bumper, and that's the fucking worst. That's terrible. What am I supposed to fucking do here? Help. Help me. Will he help? I did. I fucking did already. I fucking hate life. My dick hurts because of the nail that I'm pounding through it. Well, you know... I guess I can... Oh. Explore? Yeah. Fuck no. We'll walk back that way. Infinite discovery. Yeah. Uh, fuck your pig. How do you find uh, the pace of coming to the office to record? As I like it. The usual I like it a lot. I like it a lot too. Look at the crater. I, I think I did. I did that. This yeah, well, explosion I guess really it didn't fresh. count. Yeah. Uh, I, I think it's, it's nice to be able to too. distinguish between the two. Life and home. Uh, yeah. Life and work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. Um, sometimes work-life balance, if you would. Yeah, and, and I, I got to reclaim my living room a little bit. You know, that was nice. Um, uh, the, 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 the distance over there. Fucking There's some shit over there. It's fucking trash. How does anyone live here? Yeah. There we go. They're no, it's, it takes about half an hour to get here, awesome. and that's enough time to listen to a music. A, 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 one an, one an music. Item, an item of music. Uh, check check some internets. Yep. And then prep yourself and think up w at least at least one funny joke. <laughs> and maybe in advance. Why don't you spend that one right now? Okay. Yep. Oh. <sighs> yep. It's not working. Nails in the dick. Nails in the dick. Why? Do that you... that's my face right now. Why do you? Why do you? What? What? You know. What does it want from me? Design I mean, when you, I assume when you bring up nails in the dick that we're going best. back to the Pain Olympics. No, Eesh. actually. I'm referring to an old Penny Arcade comic in ah. which they don't want to do something. And they go, oh, okay, let's go back to pounding nails through our dicks. Oh. I don't know what they didn't want to do, though. In fact, I could look it up as, as you uh, continue. Oh, there it is. I discovered Dude, the it's the, the bullshit. Glowing. Hold on, I can look that up. Yeah, which which comic was that? Penny. You got to look. You got you got a timer. Go Dude, ahead. at what point did you stop reading web comics? There. Ooh, it glowed like that back in because it happened to everyone. Remember? It happened to every, yeah, 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 yeah. And look, it glows uh, brighter. I don't know. Like I I directions. trilled in and out at times. I mean, Easy I was reading uh, I was reading Maybe Penny Arcade, of course. I was reading Sinfest no, right. for a while. I mean, you're no one else I knew got into that, but I really was a big fan of Sinfest. Um, I think. I think I stopped that. when Axel? Perry Bible Fellowship Stress stopped. Me out with that. On a regular basis. There's a point when Perry Bible Fellowship, you've got to point at a thing. Oh my god, this is the best. I just... Here, you point at the thing and I'll read the, the, the transcript of the comic that I was referencing and how it perfectly meshes with our earlier conversation. Gabe and Tycho are sitting on a gigantic Xbox with actual sized Xbox controllers. Can we please stop playing Halo? It's the same stupid level over and over again. That's the genius of it. This ought to be good. It makes sense that the alien architects would design each room to be identical, so the Whoa. intruders Whoa. would become bored and ding, leave. Ding, ding. Well, it worked. Like I'm ready to leave. Let's go pound some nails through our dicks. That go. was the height there of them making go. fun of the fucking size of the dude. Of the, of the controller, yeah. You if not the the one where they're like you know where uh, uh, establishing shot at Microsoft's offices on, on top of an Xbox Magnus controller. Yeah, oh, dude, I that love was it. the other one. There. The Duke is like, I, I well, hey, you, we know exactly up. what it was. Make me nervous. So here, it, it was a Dreamcast just, controller yeah, that was okay. unfinished. So my uh, here's my favorite part about the Duke, North right? Noobs. I used the Xbox controller S first. Jesse. Huh. Because I didn't know anybody that had an Xbox. Bunch of right? scavengers. So, so you got on late. So I went to a friend's house or whatever Let's and played with their S controller do this, and okay? thought that that was the Duke. Oh, oh wow. wow. And went, oh, wow, everyone's right. This thing this is conference. terrible. Oh, it feels bad in the hand <laughs> and it's gigantic. <laughs> and then several years later, uh, I encountered the real Duke. Oh, my. And couldn't 
fucking believe it. Was that when you saw it at one of our places? Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. okay. And like, I picked it up, this and like, a it lot of jokes town. have been made about my baby Which hands. One's the amulet? I have legitimately tiny hands. Well, if you were to hold your hand up, yeah, my that's, my that's fingers, super, yeah, like barely double. It's, I'm doubling over your hand. Right like now. I'm well, not even halfway you through your second board. knuckle. Yeah. Right. right. Yeah. The Duke is unusable <laughs> for me. Right? Oh, God. And it's not just me. People with averagely small-sized hands would also have significant trouble. It's ridiculous. Jeez, God, and I've no seen people that have, like, really big You're hands. Like, way bigger than yours, really. Oh, really. And they've had to use, like, the Dual Shock 2. And what a nightmare that was for them. Because that, that thing's really small. See, the trade-off here is that... When you get things like the Game Boy Advance um, SP, yeah, you're fine. Whereas I can't even fucking like. I can, oh, the SP I is can't super do it. comfy. I can't do it. When my there's nowhere for your fingers to go. My index fingers hit each other at the top of the console <laughs> and mash together so that I can't hit the triggers. Yeah. Fucking I, I'm actually really glad the DualShock 4 and the Xbox no. One, uh, <laughs> all of those variants have settled on a size that ah, pretty much works for everybody. And that's the worry with the Switch. Is Luckily, those, it's pretty big. But those entrance. screenshots, or rather, or rather that video of people holding the, the two Joy-Cons sideways, yeah. you, you, you got it. Oh. They hold the two Joy-Cons sideways, and it's like, how Sorry, on guys, what planet is that going to be comfortable? A lot of people are actually true now. believers in offset uh, oh, controls, man. like they want to have a piece in each Jesse, hand. That's up. fine, but I mean, when it's two players, each one has. I want to point out that I accidentally you hit right on that, so it's any direction is a pass. Perfect. Because um, babies. Yeah, like the actual nunchuck and and uh, Wiimote style yeah. thing. Yeah. Uh, nailed it. Oh, oh, boo. Wow, more fail states than ever this time Maybe around. They they, they saw our video. The amulet again. So the, um... Stop the, the, right there. Yeah, the, having one in each hand is totally comfortable and fine. No. You don't yeah. even have to think about that <laughs> shit. You just rest your hands by your side and press whatever you need to. Ah, but when you're putting it, turning it sideways, you have a stick in one finger, and then Luckily, two... Oh, you mean a tiny one? The Joy-Cons turn sideways. I really I really like how they, they use, like, a bunch of super gigantic black dudes to play the NBA yeah, game, yeah, using yeah, that yeah, example. Yeah. I'm like, fuck off. Sorry, and it's guys, like, you're gonna have pass, you're gonna have shoot. And I guess that's... Well, the, the right. really weird oh, problem is player man. one and player two's controllers Jesse, are not the same size. Way too close. Like, the, the, the stick is further Way into the middle on one than the other. This song has yeah, because they're offset, remember? Once. I thought they were mirrored of each other. No, no, no. Uh, the, the Switch's away. controller, the yeah, left analog oh, stick man. is at the top, and the right analog yeah. stick is at the bottom. Yeah. And that means when you that when, means when you pull them off, in order for it to okay, be comfortable, the amulet. right stick is much Show more close way. to the center. Because of your hand's thumb, your right thumb. Way. Because it's actually in the should center. should be pointing at the middle. It's not oh. close to the bottom. Weird. Right? That's not going to be comfy. So, like... For me, player one will be much more comfortable, yeah. and for you, player two might be. But that's always been the shittiest way to play. Every game that was like, use a Wiimote as a NES controller was terrible. Every single time. Yeah, I I, I, I mean, I get it. It allowed you to do shit, but I, I'm not a fan of that awkward sideways thing. Because it was kind of just like, because even a NES controller, to be honest, like, those square edges weren't too great. No. Um, there's better ways. But it was much larger than the Wii Remote. Ah, it was. Nice. It was. What did I tell you about teamwork? Um, and, and in some cases, you what? had to actually like reach over and press the plus and minus together. buttons, no, which did. are way in the middle of the that. of the thing. Get it back! No, um, I should never trust you. I don't know. I could do something here, I'm but I guess. Oh, yeah. well, why would, let's teamwork continue it. Why would you? Let's, yeah. Why would? Why? Why would Pat and Oswald try? Yeah. Yeah, they got him in on this. I forgot about that. He's the main character. No. Girlfriend's a big fan of Pat and Oswald and asked me, I how is he? How is he in Quick, it? And I'm like, he's terrible. It's not quite the and, she, and she asked what may be the stupidest question I've heard in a while. Why? And, like, not... not yeah, I know, right? Not, like, I, I why... Quick, what's bad about his performance? Why is... Why did he perform badly? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I was like, I don't care. I doubt he did either. Do it for the kids. 
I mean, when I read it, I write the script. Um, I'm writing the script with my playtime. Willie, are you, you cannot do this to me. You can't. I am you, sorry. You, I'm you, sorry. You, 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 you like you asked me, hey, you mind if we turn quick. down the lights? I'm like, yeah, Talk sure. It's nice and comfy in here, and you are like. I'm watching you <laughs> actually <laughs> fall asleep. I'm, no, 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 I'm okay. I'm well, okay. Uh, you know, the, the, Jesse, I, I, I do. I do want to talk about though. I want to talk Why? about and or like discuss the nature of our fast. channel and how we Guys. we finish everything. Yeah, we finish Guys. it all. Finish everything the to the last drop. Hey, to the last I drop. All the things that guy is and saying. I guess, and if so we're bad. and if we're not sure if we're gonna finish it, we put a bunch of disclaimers out there beforehand to make sure that it doesn't count. Well, so the uh, the only one of note is uh, Call of Cthulhu. I was gonna which, say because it depends on what your definition of finish actually because is. Because Call of Cthulhu is like that game is a bug nightmare, and there are large there are large issues with that game just becoming incompletable. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So. Um, so what we did is we said we're gonna do at least uh, seven episodes of each, whatever, blah blah blah, right? Yeah. Uh, and then uh, that has to be dead. Yeah, that's dead. Yeah, that um, and thus we did our seven episodes. And then in the seventh episode, you can see the fucking um, game just shit its ass off, and we get like a, a hard annihilating progression stopping bug. But you guys didn't intend to actually beat that. No, that was gonna jump. No, the beat. ones that were beatable, we planned to beat, and the others, we, we just <laughs> were gonna do the seven Cause, bits. Because it was like it was because it was shitstorm games that you were gonna play for a bit, and then if we wanted to do full LPs, we would. Okay. So that's why we did Escape from Bug yeah, Island yeah, yeah, yeah. and stuff like that. Okay, but that just turned out. To that be one is like we got seven in, and we're like, oh my god, it's this is unfinished. That, that had the best scare. It. Oh, dude, totally. Of everything you've played. Yeah, and then so it, well, if you go watch that fucking uh, go okay? uh, that seventh Long episode, story. you can see like a guy supposed to move and he just grievers. doesn't. Mm. Wow. And that's the that's end. Exciting. Mm. Totally was. But yeah, we you finished everything. I mean, yeah, I mean, look, we never that, give up. What's your right? definition of finish? Right? Omicron's were, probably on the channel active right now. Of it is. It as is. of the today's date, which is uh, November 14th, well, whatever the fuck 2016. Was. Yeah. Uh, you know, it, it, but the, it's like, I think that, like, in general, to me, the idea is it would be really annoying to just have things randomly uh, stop without reason know, or rhyme. Or yeah, a lot, a lot of people a interpret people that as like a weird board, shade right? throw on other LPRs, and I don't, I don't think that's true at all. If, if you wanna, if you wanna be a massive coward and just stop playing something, by all means, right? That's not even a diss. I no, do it. Yeah, no, be a I, massive I, coward. <laughs> That's a that's a good way to live your life. Do whatever, Talking man. It's your not, that's not even sarcasm. I know it so sounds I, like sarcasm. It sounds like super sarcasm. No, no, you're being really real. It's being a coward's good. <laughs> it, but, it's easy and it lets you do things you wouldn't otherwise be able to do. <laughs> but I think I just think I personally would be like, oh god, it would be annoying. Well, what I think Cause, of cause it's the same way that like you know if you if you're trying to get every achievement in a thing or you know what I mean if you're some kind of like uh, if you have a little bit of that OCD on on something. I got a little bit. Right. Then you're gonna want you want something to be done. You want that final draft. episode finished, and then you're like, okay, this is a complete yeah. well, well, segment I can put away and shelf. Well, for me, I remember vividly as one of the defining TV watching experiences of it's my early this. life. We totally reboot got caught by just madness. yeah just fucking yeah. off it just died forever yeah, yeah, yeah. and you really even the movies <laughs> still yeah. fuck off forever like i've and i've been I, i've discussed it really many times at length but i've been able to mentally compartmentalize oh, yeah. and and well, bookend it in my own way that's cowardice right there i know i've bookended it mentally yes, in my own right. way and just I wait till that opinionated alt chick unbookends it for right. you i will fucking I right? it's going to be canon and they're going to tie it in I will they're going to right now <laughs> uh, yeah i will not even you finish have, this you, sentence you have that ability and yeah the ability to just just grandpa it fuck it I don't give a fuck. I'm turning. I'm, I'm like, you know what? This day's over. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, I'm turning exactly it off. I'm turning the reason. day off right yeah. now. But oh man. man, I can. Yeah, learn. we're gonna. We're That's gonna, that. Yeah. Re you know, and, and tell, tell you what, man. And then later, Twin Peaks. How'd you? Find oh yeah. Working with someone 
So you, dude, you never saw uh, the ending of Twin Peaks, right? But I do. I heard about the okay. bullshit that they went so, through. So I'm. There's a little bit of spoiler, but I'm not gonna talk about what characters it is. But like, okay. A mission to appear like there are ev every the character in Twin Peaks that is alive at the time weird. has a cliffhanger Dance. on that final episode. Yeah. One of which, Who sorry, really? three of which are in Why a bank are you here? which explodes and they're I in the vault and then it cuts now. to an outside shot of Just every window of the bank blowing out with a massive explosion. One of which is now tied up with deadly spiders crawling down out. his face. <laughs> Our world <laughs> right? Ending. <laughs> one one of them, oh, one of them, bad one bad of them is possessed by a ghost, yeah, and it's course. a twit, right? Of okay. Course. A huge monster eating up the. And that was and that's it. Like thirty years <laughs> ago. <laughs> oh man. Okay, I've got one. You and this is the. You know what? This is one of those things. <laughs> this is one of those rare times where you should be able to jump in on this one. Yeah. And no one else on the channel would be able to. Yeah. Do you remember? Of course you do. Fucking. Exo Squad? Of course I remember Exo Squad. I had all the cool toys. Yeah, right? Because this is one those of those toys were amazing. Yeah, yeah. no, no, no. And this is a weird one because, again, this is usually where Matt would jump in on an we're old cartoon. You but, like, he, Matt doesn't know about it. He doesn't watch Exo Squad. You watched Exo Squad. I sure did. Do you remember how that ended? I, I remember. I remember being unhappy, but I was like four, so I don't remember how it actually ended. Exo Squad was the sick ass mecha show from back in the day, Saturday morning cartoon, which I happened to catch when they finally rerun it on Sundays. Um, it was really, really cool. And really cool. the final episode was them basically revealing that like the cool big blue Neo Sapien guy Yikes. that was on their side yeah. was a traitor. Yeah. He actually was working for the the the, the, the okay, evil race okay, all yeah. along, and they woke up all the Neo Sapiens on the moon. Uh oh. And then they all started invading, and then it was the beginning of the Great War. Yeah. And they fucking never re-upped oh, it for another season, and that was it. Ruh -roh. Bit of a problem it sucks because I feel like you know when you're whenever that happens in a show, the people that are running it are probably thinking if we make it enough of a cliffhanger, Whoa. they'll have to resub. They'll have to right because the viewers will be like, God damn it, I need to know. Yep. And the people making are, are the producers or the people watching and funding. Well, so let me tell you, know. Mark Frost and David Lynch did that to the, the final episode explicitly for that reason, day, right? and they lost it's their bet. Sucks. They so made it the cliffhangeriest shit ever. Can't uh, under you, the you because can't we, not let us resume. Ratings this. were down, yeah. and they were like, people are gonna get no, mad and tell the, the network, and the network's gonna re-up right. us for I another don't. season. And the network said, nah, we're good. Wow. And well, that's pretty sad. Twin Peaks probably has the the the, the most it. meteoric rise and fall of popularity ever. Simply put, um, to the point where apparently, like, Khrushchev was asking, like, President Johnson or fucking whoever the fuck it was at the time, like, leaning wow. in, like, leaning in and going, like, so who killed who Laura Palmer? Who killed Palmer? Wow. Right? Um, you have to know, right? Um, That's amazing. And then you find out who killed Laura Palmer, and then there's, like, 19 more episodes of that second season, and everybody just stopped caring. It's the first iteration of the Marvel Netflix problem. And Lynch, Lynch had, had, had was very obvious about this, and he hated the people's obsession with who killed Laura Palmer. And you probably know about this from other works that are like this. Who killed Laura Palmer doesn't matter. What matters is the weird... Bullshit that this town so goes wow. through, this through awesome. and it's just an excuse to tell all these weird people stories. So the thing with that, though, is that I feel like David Lynch is not the kind of guy that wants to be a big, famous TV director anyway. No, he wants to, you know? He wants to be a racer. <laughs> yeah, he wants to be PlayStation Duck Man. Yeah. You're right? Sell our console. Okay, here's a duck. It's walking, and now it's distorted. Here's a screaming baby doll. Uh, what's like, <laughs> you know, there's no... So, so like, I don't feel... I feel like him not this getting re-upped there is, is like, the well, now he is free to do all the crazy shit he did, like Mulholland Drive. Slash Marvel and Dream. I really need to watch that. I so you mentioned it like eight I keep times the past week. I keep bringing it up because it's to me like you need someone to yell at. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's the, there's it's pure Lynch. It's the most Lynch like it, there's no dilute dilated. Like, you know what I mean? Like, there's no water in that. It's not. It's, it is pure madness from beginning to end. Is this a movie? Yeah, it's a movie. Okay. Are you sure? No. Yeah, okay. yeah, right. I cannot confirm. Yeah, that's good. Um. But yeah, he's he's one of those outside director people, you know, like uh, 
The Jim Jarmusch. You ever seen any Jim Jarmusch movies? I've never seen a Jim Jarmusch movie. There's those, there, those are the weird ones. They're pretty. They're all right, though. They're good watches, but you don't go in expecting a, f- a like a normal narrative. Um, you're, you're, you should go in expecting Bill Murray to be like improvising his way through half of it. Yeah, okay. And that's what you're gonna get. That's Jesse. I want to see a movie that I crusty the clown the at the mm. for a uh, fucking worker and parasite. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. What the crap was that? <laughs> you are the big guy. Give a big uh, oh man, I love worker and parasite. Oh boy, oh that's good stuff. The um, I'm trying to I'm trying to think is the. Uh, the Bill Murray that shows up in those movies is pretty much it's that post Lost in Translation Bill Murray. Okay, where he's like a fantastic serious actor. Yeah, and he's like, man, fuck all that like goofy me shit. Yeah, I want to do some weird serious roles. Yeah, and well, Groundhog Day doesn't get enough props. He pretty much straight faces his way through all of that. Too. Yeah, yeah. No, it's it's. Now that you think of you mention it, it's like, I, I would like to pick a moment to talk about Groundhog Day. So people have been able to calculate how long he's in there for. The exact number. Yes. Huh? Because well, not exact, but ballpark it. Because there's a scene in the library in which he reads a page a day, in the library. Yeah. And he finishes the library. Yeah, so then... He's in there for something like ten to 100,000 years. <laughs> <laughs> if you assume it's one page a day... Yeah. I think this then you have to that. assume that that's how long... Okay. The, the lowest it could possibly be showing off the skills that he learns in the left is like 100 years. Wow. Um, wow. So it explains why his character is so fucking... You're nuts. Weird. You're nuts and, at the and end of And everyone that. forgets. Everyone forgets that in Groundhog Day, there is a, there is a goddamn scene in which he kills himself. Not bad. Because well, he's. Bad. I watched that on a plane when I was okay. young. Okay, so you need to rewatch it because that movie's amazing. I, I really enjoyed it though. At okay, the time. so yeah. he gets drunk, steals a cop car, crashes this it into the river, and either he dies or there or he kills himself or afterwards. Or I forget. So but he kills himself because he can't either. take the the purgatory, and, and he just wakes right back up in bed. Okay. Okay. Wow. That's a whole other dimension of it, honestly. <laughs> yeah. At that point. That's a lot of people's vision of hell. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, that movie's so great. And and what does he play off? He just plays it off as, like, kind of tired Bill Murray. Yeah. But, like... Hey, you think it's safe to talk about uh, Doctor Strange on this at this point? Is nobody watching this? I mean... <laughs> You know, it's been some time. The it's been like two out. weeks. The movies come out, right? Well, you, if yeah, hey, you, hey, you're the spoiler guy, so fuck it. Well, uh, give yourself a hard limit. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go into the details, I suppose. But yeah, talk I guess, around it. I guess I'll just say that, like, um, the idea of, like, oh, that's what you're talking about. Okay, yeah, yeah. I'm talking about the the idea of the Groundhog Day situation, where you are enforcing that deliberately. Yeah. Um, for the greater moral good. Yeah. And or like you know, or for whatever whatever purposes. Is there anything in life you could see yourself making that type of sacrifice? I'm for? pretty stubborn. I like, could I could make that kind of sacrifice out of spite, but for the greater good. But infinity, infinity. Uh, you know what I mean? I'd get tired. <laughs> I, like I don't think anyone has the resolve. No, because your resolve is not infinite. No one's, and neither is Doctor Strange's. He just has to have like the scene you're talking about. I'm pretty sure happens in real time to the viewer. Yeah, like it's not expanded. And no, it, no, 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 no. It, it in fact only takes maybe 15 minutes because the person he's dealing with has zero he, is, is, is does not have the patience to deal with this. Yes, because has never had to deal with anything. Like that. Yeah. Okay. Boom Master. Yeah. Is that a guy who shits all over? Alright, I made my comment in go. this episode. You did it. There it was. There it was. I think noob time. This will be a treat. Hey, quickly, you're watching this minimized. Click back over to the video. Watch, 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 watch it. I got you, nothing's happening. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, you can minimize it again. Yeah. <laughs> Still counts. Gotcha, bitch.
I really hope YouTube never implements a feature that, like, lets you minimize. No, no, I hope they never implement a feature that's like, views don't count if it's not full screen. Oh my god, we're dead. We're dead. Our fucking lineage is ended. Oh, dude. Our lives are over. Everyone's dead. Everyone's dead. I would, I would hazard a guess that most YouTube views are radio views. Oh my god. Right? Because, like... I don't- there's nothing I can say that I actually Jesse, watch like go. that, because even when I watch a podcast or two, um, it's out of the corner of my eye on my second screen. Yeah. Uh, Lucha Underground, which I've been going through, I watch Action, on my second out. screen. I- I put it in, uh, I put it on the same screen, but I- I make it, a uh, one-fourth yeah, okay. of the thing. I was gonna say, there's no um, way yeah, you're sitting attentively and paying look. attention to all of that. Of Lucha? Right. No way! Right? It's wrestling! Yeah, you, you can't possibly... Wrestling is not a sit-down-and-watch thing. Okay, okay, confirming. Because I was like, I'm just letting this rock. Wrestling's a video podcast. Yeah, yeah, I'm letting it rock in the background, you know, and, and paying attention and to And then the you movie. hear the crowd go, Whoa! And then you go, okay, I'm gonna rewind it. 45 seconds. Although, if it's a character that I really care about, I'm gonna watch their match. Yeah. I will absolutely. I will watch every one of Drago's matches. Drago's matches. I will watch, um, uh, Prince Puma. Yeah. I will watch, uh... Pentagon Junior. Pentagon, you gotta, you gotta tune in. Well, it also helps that their matches are legitimately, consistently fantastic. Yeah. Uh, and you know what? Like, I will watch Mil Morte yeah. just stiff his way through everything. <laughs> <laughs> because why not? Like, that gimmick is, I'm still not tired of that. I don't fall unless some shit really, really. Oh, you need you need to you need to get farther in because there's a character that makes Mil Morte look like a feather oh, in comparison to that. Like cage? No, okay. it's, a, it's a new character that you don't know. Okay. Like there are there are people like Rey Mysterio Jr. is running up and doing like a full drop kick off the top rope and the and he just bounces Nothing. off him. God damn. No, but he actually physically bounces <laughs> off him. <laughs> Like, the guy's able to oh. properly maintain his stance. He, it's ridiculous. Wow, wow. Okay. I got you, I got you. Hey, so what's, uh... The last thing that Telltale did was... Um, Batman. Batman. Yep. Um, and the only consensus we got was that it's, it's a little bit poor. Yeah, so I saw one screenshot of the Batman and just fucking gave up before I ever played it. And it was Batman standing next to a neon sign. And the neon sign said Gotham Storage, but the, uh, the, um, T and O were, 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 uh, the T and O were broken, so it said Gotham's Rage. Oh, and fuck. and I was like, I'm done. I'm not even gonna oh, touch that with a fucking fuck. pull. You can find that screenshot That's, if you want. That is cringe. It's so bad, dude. I was gonna say that I- That is the most surface fucking level, like, baby shit. Cause it sounded like, oh, hey, cool, Bruce Wayne Adventures, maybe. Yeah. That might be a thing worth watching, you know? Go out with Robin or Vicky Vale. They're both wearing pretty dresses. There you Fantastic. No, I-I-I just wonder, like, has the bubble popped yet to everyone else? For Telltale. There was a topic on our subreddit recently about what the hell is going on with best friends that they view Telltale as just like a somewhat more competent David Cage. Right? Like, because our, 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 our. I missed that thread. What would they say? Basically, it's like our, our stuff. We went from Walking Dead season one, where we all. Everyone's like, yeah, 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 yeah. To um, Fable. Or Wolf Among Us. Wolf Among Us, we're like, yeah, okay. And then Walking Dead Season 2 and everything after that. Uh, and that we've all been really, really down on. Uh, except yeah. for you play Tales of the Borderlands. Yeah, um, Borderlands good. Borderlands good. And, um, the, I guess, all that you would say is, like, like, they're obviously better than David Cage, because their writing does not offend me. Yeah, well, no, th that comparison is, like, extreme. Right? But, like... They are rocking a formula hard. That's what the problem is. It's not that exactly like it's not that it's bad. It's that it's just predictable at this point. And and the uh, and um and thus uh, 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 the, uh, like one of the first people that replied in that topic really summed it up. And it's like Walking Dead season two wasn't uh, wasn't as good as season one's. And that's you know that's not the best, but it's fine, right? 
But the big problem is that once you start to see through their formula, you understand that every choice is not a choice. Every choice is who do you want to be mad at you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's all that, all that actually matters up happening, right? Um, and um, uh, particularly the 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 the, the post was talking about how like, well, they're, they're, they they love Until Dawn a whole lot, and and uh, there was another game that I forget what it was, but like Until Dawn, probably Life is Strange, like six, uh, probably Life is Strange, yeah. But Until Dawn succeeds. Uh, for reasons that are completely opposite of why some Telltale games have succeeded. Until Dawn's a completely cohesive one-game experience. They don't need to worry about later. Yeah. Like, Until Dawn gets to play a lot faster and looser with threads. Because nothing matters Because at the nothing end of matters at the end of the game and yeah. all everybody can die. There can be now, an abject fail state. Now, but here's the thing with that, though, is that Game of Thrones attempted to handle the who do you get who you do who do you want to be mad at you situation yeah. they attempted a fix but their fix was let's write characters that are pretty much supposed to die yeah and we're writing characters that you're expecting to not survive and that ends up in its own way being annoying and kind of pointless as well because you're playing through it going like well what the fuck you know you're putting me in control of someone that has no chance here and, and, then, and right, you know it from the instant you start to control them. Yeah, and then like, and then you, you know, and like you go, oh, they lasted another episode, and then like three, four episodes in, you're like, oh, and then now they're off. But it just really feels that like that that was a problem in Walking Dead season disposable two. Disposable not, characters, not, not to the same extent, but like the character to okay, turnover in season farther. two is rampant. And then, and wow. when they get red, uh, when they die off, bonkers. like a new person <laughs> walks up at the end of that episode. <laughs> like the the there is no one left. Of the original group in in fuck it in Walking Dead season two, you get to the end of the game Jesse? with literally zero people from that original group. Well, one, uh, Jane, your main character. Oh yeah, your character. <laughs> but yeah, you like, get on and barely any part? from the second group, it and like one from the third group, yeah. and it's so it's crazy. And it's like, well, what is the this. point? Fantastic. Of what is the point of a character dying? Come on. You guys if are never gonna too many characters die, gone. right? It, it, it has a Petra. cumulative effect, hey guys, right? If you expect going? everyone that dies to be replaced with someone new, that it's walks it's the it's the problem with comics, right? Petra. Batman's dead. You made it. Nah. Yeah. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. Wait till yeah. next year's run. Right, oh, but man, but really but like accelerated and within it within a yeah. unique thing, and, and 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 in the Walking Dead's that case, the first dicey. time around, you cared about the people because you actually went, "Oh man, wow, right. I didn't see yeah. that." You got to know uh, Carly and uh, Doug, yeah, a little bit, yeah, and they had they had a pretty good amount of dialogue. And it was it was super shocking when uh, she got shot in the face, hard out of nowhere. Yep. Doug also gets it, like, even worse, apparently. So if you switch it to him, which nobody did, so no yeah. one knows what happens there. So <laughs> sure. You know, uh, apparently with and Doug, like, he, he, like, steps in front of the bullet. Okay, okay. Huh. Basically. Uh, yeah, wow. Uh, and, you know, and, you know, and shout out to them for making Kenny, who's, like, the most, one of the most divisive characters in video games. Period. Man, I still look back on that, like, baffled, like... I was so. Wow. Been a while since been I guess here. up my own ass and more. Like, oh man, everyone hates Kenny. They really screwed up the writing. And then what I come out like, is oh, she nah, bro. oh, apparently I disagree with Call a lot of people. Much. No, a lot of people see it as me and my family are all that matters, and they right. agree with that. Um, you know? I to mention and I think it, the discussion Olivia came up with Liam uh, as well. Um, yeah, he's a Kenny oh, sympathizer. Right, 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 right exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Scumbag. <laughs> but, uh, you know, either way, it's like they, they they made a character that was like, yeah, one of the most divisive characters in all video games out of that. I was really disappointed by the ending of that. I was really, really part disappointed. Part one, you mean? Uh, no, part two. Part two. Yeah, of I was really, really disappointed because as divisive as Kenny here. is, you, uh, I feel like he got a raw deal because, like, they, they overdid it. Jesse! Right? Look, they overdid his, his flaws to the point sec. where the hey, thing he's pitted up against in the final... The, the, the moral option he's pitted up against in the final moment of Walking Dead Season 2 is Easy ridiculous. <laughs> right? It's like... Cool. And mm -hmm. I said at the time, it's so like, really? You had to go this far yeah, 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 yeah. to give, like, an alternative option? Like, that's ridiculous. It was... You, you, exactly. No, it was almost like you're waiting for, like, the, the angelic halos and music to play. Yeah. You know? 
Yeah. Sometimes yeah. Jesse. That's. I think they over. Silent. They overdid it. Yeah. I but um. Figured that out. That either way, I feel like him, his reintroduction crazy, was like. I went you, no matter Red how Sonia, you feel about it. There were all these incredible. If it's not in the middle of there are guys coming to get us, it might have had some weight. Yeah. But they fucked that up too. Well, the biggest problem they had was. The, I mean, and it's a it's a lot it's it's what happened to me know, and Matt I'm sorry. right and it's it's so it's sorry. an assumption and it's the assumption is that you will be happy to see every character that you met the first time around it, yeah no matter how you felt about them the first time it'll be like oh look old friends right, right? Have, and it's like embarrassed I don't know about you guys but I don't live my life like yeah. that I know a lot but of people that I knew like a long time ago and I knew them pretty well and if I saw them on the street I would not fucking piss on them if they were on fire. <laughs> Not even that they did anything wrong to me, sure. right? Sure. Just yeah. fuck them. They're dirtbags. Well, yeah, that's not exactly the usual way people remember. go about their life. Say, I, mean, I would piss on them after they burnt out. My feelings. <laughs> I, you know, but whatever. Like, but yeah, no, it's the that, that's it, your thing. Because, well, no, because there's a lot of people who just didn't get over the the Walking Dead uh, like you, one episode two did. decision that Kenny Instead makes, just right? Talking. Yeah, and there's hey, there's a significant amount of people that like, no, that's the line, and that line's not coming back. Right? Wow. And so you they kind of forgot that they did that. One. And so they put hey, it in this state of like, are usually oh, of course you're happy. But if you're not happy, the game Legal tells you you're happy. And that's a problem. Between the two of us. Right? A problem where you're supposed oh, to empathize with I your character. Ignoring her ages you can't be told how to you're feel if you don't feel that way. In here. Right? There, so like, I'm really guy, bored right now. Old. I can't be told to feel excited about the hypercube or whatever the fuck. on the bigger picture? And that's lucky, because Patton also sounds bored. Oh, he's phoning it in dinner? super hard. Yeah. Like, why wouldn't yeah, you? I'll admit, it's fine. That thing the kids looks don't real care. Nasty. And I've seen some nasty I saw I watched the random... Time. Sorry to... I, oh, you, yeah? I, just, I, I was like, I, I saw a, a YouTube channel that was like huge there, right? with yeah. Minecraft videos. Yeah. And, I, and I had that moment of like, all right, let me find out. Yeah, let's see what the kids like. If I was a kid, let me see what's going on here. And it was just really long and like... Okay, you're right. It was it was them well, unboxing the like some kind of, some type of Thank crates you. or something yeah. that you get in Minecraft and you get random items. Like digital or physical? Digital, yeah, of course, okay. digital, right? So we got a bunch of gift crates with things in them, and let's unbox a bunch of them. For sure. Yet, but and this isn't like the stronghold it used to be. It felt like so you know the the voice gone. that people on like old kids TV would make. Yeah. Like, hey everyone, welcome back. Yeah. We're gonna take. It was that. Yeah. And I I thought the age group getting along was older. No. I didn't think Magnus, it was because that it, like you talk to people that way for like seven year olds. And, 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 it, like, and it's really yeah, easy to, to, to sound around. condescending. I don't yeah, I don't I'm think that's sorry, bad at hearing. all. I assumed it was more like use. a 12 oh, year old I, sort I, of I, like I, thing I, that I, Minecraft I, was. No, it is it is it is five to like 13 is what I would assume. Um, and I don't think there's anything particularly wrong with that. There's, I was I was just surprised. There's tons of those kids Super like TNT. fucking watching stuff, Stronger and they should and they should probably watch that nice wholesome Minecraft unboxing the video and not this fucking trash. I would never yeah, recommend yeah, yeah. that at all. all no, I would. I you should make wouldn't. your kids watch our show. Yeah, but I guess I kids. I guess I just it's just the it's that that tone versus. Oh my god, the f bomb. But. How fortuitous! What? Do, really? Swear. Yeah, they, there's an uh, item called the F bomb, and it destroys so cool. it all. I thought you, I thought literally the word "fuck" was in the script. It said, no, it said F bomb. It said F bomb. Yeah. yeah. Okay. We don't know where um, Soren because is. I guess it's just like but you know, you the, like us. the shit that I watched when I was young. I don't feel like it had people talking in that sort of condescending manner. Oh, it did. Manner. It totally did. did. It? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, not Sesame Street and shit like that. I mean, when I was around ten, our map could like, locate him. I don't know. I, like, like, like Power Rangers what? and it's worth fucking action yeah, cartoons. But then, yeah, but this is not Power Rangers. This is like Sesame Street. Hmm. And I don't know about you, but I watched Sesame Street for a long fucking time because it's awesome. I mean, I, I stopped. I watched Sesame Street and then translated directly into The Muppet Show. Because Muppets are rad. Yeah, yeah, The Muppet Show, no, my brother used to watch The Muppet Show at night. I didn't. Oh, you watched The Muppet Show recently? Not recently. Oh my god, dude, it's a whole fucking, it's a nightmare. It's a fucking drug trip. What? It's so weird. What happened to it? No, 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 it's not, no, I no, mean the, the original broadcast. Oh, I'll well, go back, back to it. Like, go back and watch it. <laughs> you're, you'll be like, oh, no wonder my parents like to watch this with me. This thing's a fucking weird-ass comic show about puppets. But wasn't it just like skits and stuff? Yeah, but it's super weird. 
How are you, Petra? You get the feeling that everyone Fine. was high. Okay. I mean, Everybody. I know that I know that the two old it. men fucking stand just, up. Statler and Waldorf. Yeah, the fucking shit. That, that'll last forever. That'll last forever. There's no question there. Sweetest hey, chef Axel, forever. How are you doing? I'm hanging out. But uh, yeah, no, I haven't seen I'm it in recent. Awesome. It's nuts, dude. Glad to hear it, buddy. Do you watch anyway? The, no, do you watch gonna... mostly American or, for, or Canadian Sesame Street. Uh, I don't know. I watched what, whatever was on in front of me. I don't okay. know what it was, but uh, I was gonna say that uh, on Telltale. The it's because I can up? see that like on their list of upcoming shit. I'm there's right. another wa season of Walking Dead coming. Yeah. Intense. There's another that I I, like I'll I'll do that because I'm interested in where on. you're gonna go with a fucking baby. Well, I'll yeah, I'll I guess this. and and slightly older. All right, uh, chick. Go get this map um, activated. Um, what's her name? Clementine. Yeah. Um. Also, they're gonna have to have a real hard disconnect because those characters are dead or not. Yeah. Done and done. Uh, there is a another season of Game of Thrones coming. Uh huh. It's Surprise game, me. Game of Thrones is hot. I, I don't know if you know that. I'm going, but it's gonna I'm be going. another. But it's gonna be uh, like a completely no, another I'm side story. You know, you would know be really funny. Extra shit. If the Game of Thrones season came out and it's like episode one, episode two, episode three, episode four, so and then the entire development team died in a plane crash, you and you never got episode five. That, Was that, just that I wouldn't use funny, but well, no, not funny. Haha. -ha. Funny isn't like goofy or like uh, uh, ironic. I don't know. Well, you'd get a script. Game at the of end. Thrones is never gonna finish. You're, you're gonna that get that that story will not finish. <laughs> like this this video will go up after J.R.R. Martin's death or George, whatever. George George, R. Whatever. George R. He stole Tolkien's fucking name. He yeah, got the two you... RRs. Jesus. Think you're so good. It's George R. Martin. It's not two R. Ah, whatever. Okay. Isn't it? Isn't <laughs> no, it? it's George R. Martin. I'm, uh, I'm checking right now. There's some dumb shit. Like there's no re you said that, and that threw me off for a second. And I said it, but it's it's totally just George R. Martin. Oh no, I'm getting okay? a bunch of fucking music assholes. I hope you're right. Oh no. It's two R's. Oh, it is two it R's. It is two oh, R's. Oh fuck. No, what a fucking dick. Ah shit. He's cribbing it all. Uh, anyway, and uh, yeah, they, they had and they had another thing coming out, and I was just like, the company's oh Marvel, that's it. They're doing a Marvel thing. That could be cool. But can it? Uh, like Batman's apparently not very. But good. you want right. to talk about the chances of like nothing mattering or your choices being in, in, insignificant? A fucking that's Marvel new. Telltale story there he is. is the most nothing so will I matter at the end of this. You can possibly do. <laughs> you could kill them all. It, it's. It, nothing matters! Not even remote. Like, that's a given with the material. He invited yeah. me and then you give it to the company that's the masters of that weird, shit? Right? It always seemed a little weird. Like, that guy. It's I, gonna be a Marvel logo that just spins that. and spins. <laughs> At any rate. Fuck. I, mean, I, never I hate that new logo. There with him. Oh, I hate it. I don't like it. I don't like the it. new Marvel the Studios logo. The, the the you mean the the title card? Where they, the, yeah, the Marvel. They show off little so bits, bits of the movie. Don't Stop don't it. No, the old one's classy. Old you're one was moving. Classy. You're flipping pages of a comic book because that's what you came from. Yeah. Stop. No. I bet you the idea was like, yeah, but now our movies are just as iconic as our comics were, and so we can you we can stand on our own two legs with the footage of our old. That's like saying that the Passion of the Christ is as iconic as the Bible. Is going right, to we, that's a ridiculous yeah, yeah. fucking idea. <laughs> We've moved beyond the original pages. Not Shut up. Now we're we just as like a stock. Shut up. All right, we had a, we had a silent logo. You had the morning, page, pages the turning. It's nice and classy. Uh, and it was good. And you know what? Yeah, you used it in a lot of movies. No one was tired of it. Uh, thank you very much. No one was tired of it. Yeah, there are a lot of people going, boy, I hate that classy Marvel logo. Trust me. I don't if like it. This thing, Fucking sucks. The only thing was like they Trust made the they changed from the 2D version to the 3D version at some yeah. point, and I was like, oh, okay, yeah, sure, that's fine, you know. But Elegos still, the page is turning. Of Go back to that shit. That. Stop hey, with this movie. Well, do you, so. you ever play with Legos as a child? All the time. I have a suitcase full of Legos. You got a? You had siblings played with Legos all the time. Let me ask you. Did you have? You're? Are you the oldest or the youngest? I am the youngest. You're the youngest. So when your older sibling built a way more impressive thing, remember what? I haven't touched the control. Okay, never mind. Uh, <laughs> um, I got. <laughs> sorry, I got. I got stuck no, in for it. That's fine. I didn't do any. All that's right. Fine. I guess that's what they'll remember. Um. Yeah. You ever see your older sibling okay, like build the big amazing up. thing and then you and just couldn't help it? Right? You just couldn't help it. And you just walked over and you just put your foot right the fuck through it? Because no. I sure fucking no. did. Wait a minute. 
I didn't, Thank not if I didn't want a beating. My, well, Jesse, okay, right? see, my oh, sister hello. would build these lavish castles. I'm like, sorry, they were amazing. They would, like, she'd use, uh, like, combination we pieces to make ones that were nicer than the not ones the you could make following the instructions. He makes me a little crazy. And she was eight years older just, than me, right? Well, so just, I'm just four just, and she's 12. Uh, you had no chance. I could and on, but I try not put my to. foot through that shit <laughs> hard. Hmm. I'm purpose. Sorry. Oh yeah. Knowing Hopefully what you were doing at the time. No. Hey, hey, Steph. In what? Damn. Wow. <laughs> oh my God. I so, would get the beating of a life. So here's the thing. Here's here's the licks. thing. Due due to a situation fault, known as uh, uh, stepmoms and and no whatnot. Um, don't hit your Boy, little brother. Good, huh? Says the stepmom. <laughs> Yeah. Because hmm. they'll protect you. Okay. And as a child, In you figure case, that out. Uh, and you're like, my brother and sister can kick each other's asses all they want. I've got an AT field. But they won't kick my ass. Ah, I see. Until, until Ava Unit 1 rips through that <laughs> shit when the parents are out. And rah, feasts on your guts. Yeah. Yeah, no, you see... Oh, I was a shit to my siblings no, as, a young, as a younger brother. You know what my brother used to do? He used to bring over his I probably do. He used to bring over his friends that he wasn't supposed to have around because they were all fucking idiot <sighs> potheads, right? Good night's sleep to And he would go, right. okay, Pat, I am ready to do mom some and dad are home. They're not going to be home. My friends are going to be out of here before they're gone. As you sound. Don't a tell them <laughs> that okay. I had my friends over. Now, now okay. I was recently watching uh, an LP yeah. in which you told the story <laughs> yeah. about something where... <laughs> You, he Crap. took money or something, and you snitched and got to keep the money anyway. So, I'm like, no. I won't tell them, but only if you give me ten dollars. <laughs> and I was like seven, and he's like, Are you? I'm like, yeah. He's like, okay, fine. And he gave me ten dollars. And then as soon yeah. as mom and dad came home, I told them, yeah. and I told them that he bribed me, and they did not tell him that that's how they found out. So I got to keep it. Win, win, win. Fucking win, win. Uh, snitching to express. Snitching's the shit. Snitching to your express. You should, you should, you should snitch, especially if someone's gonna pay you. If someone's gonna pay you, you should just make up shit to snitch about. Oh, man. What's, oh. what's the downside of that? Nothing. Yeah, uh, if you live in a place where snitches get stitches, I can't condone what Pat's oh, saying right now. Here. We live in Canada. Yeah. And you're talking about your, your brother. Yeah. And your childhood. Yeah. You're not talking about the police. No, no, no. Snitch, man. Agreed. Um, They'll give you donuts. Not again. They fucking... They, they, they no, 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 no. See, the rule about snitching is always on. the same. Also, they're all animation locked with each other in some of these cutscenes. That's terrible. Um, the rule about snitching is always the same. Will it benefit you to snitch? Overall, right? Including risks, right? Certainly, unless one of the cops is on the take. Yeah. And is looking out for... Well, no, you factor that into your risk. Ah, well... Right? If it's an so overall it's net gain to snitch, snitch away. Enchanted. And then, then, then they'll do you like fucking Avon. <laughs> yeah, what a it's yeah. Day, man. It's, yeah. Or like, or even that... You don't mean Avon. No, I mean... You mean um, D'Angelo. I mean D'Angelo, yeah. They do like like that that fucking clever shit where yeah. all we need is a yeah. belt and a and door, I'm yeah, really and it will make it look like you fucking yeah you did oh, yourself God. in. Well, it's see, fine. here's the thing: Look. if more people were snitching, mm. that guy wouldn't have gotten away with it. Mm. See, everybody's got to start snitching together. We need, we need, okay. yeah, we need pro snitch. I culture. would like to create the pro snitch alliance. Yep. Okay. Oh, if everyone's snitching, very yeah, good. then everyone's safe. Everyone's safe from reprisal because people will know they get snitched on. No. Whoa! <laughs> it's so. like it's like mutually assured destruction with nukes, but with snitching. So part of this uh, yeah, yeah. is everybody, you have to go out and commit some small crime so, or right. atrocity. Make sure that someone witnesses it. So that they have power to snitch on you. But you two have witnessed a crime. Yeah. So you have snitch. You have to go out with your friends and and so cause we, group crimes. Yeah. That big. And now we all have the button. And that's deterrence. Yeah. And thus peace. And that but if everybody snitches on each other, then no one goes to jail. Chapter three. Snitches. 
Sorry, That's it. That's I what Kojima was getting at all along. The word, the way. How did he at least some kind of... Yeah, whatever, man. Okay. They, they snitch it. Um... No, no. this is fine. So what would happen is my brother would make these am am amazing, lavish, like, level of th Lego things. But it turns out they weren't even that lavish in the end. Yeah. Because he, he would have... He would make the cooler shapes. Yeah. But I would color coordinate. Okay. And that was the thing. So in the end... Like, even though my shit was no, nowhere near as, like, elaborate, like, I didn't have cool, big, spiky shoulder pads. Yeah. But it was color-coordinated, coordinated, so it looked better. Oh, well, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can see that. You know? So I wasn't super-duper jealous, but, uh, it was totally a thing where, like, I was, I, I would get mad, though, because he figured out how to make, like, crazy, like, neck joints. Fuck. One time, though, I remember the first, one of the first times I ever felt like I wanted to steal something. Uh-huh. And I didn't do it. But I really, really wanted to was when I went to my cousin's place and I saw that he had one of those uh, brick removers. And I never knew that that existed. And I... Yeah, because all you had was your nail and And my teeth. teeth. Yeah. And so my Lego pieces have teeth bites in them. And I saw that and I lost my shit. I was like, fuck, we need this, but you only get it with the new full sets. And we're not getting a new full set anytime soon. And I really wanted to take it. I remember stealing things before I wanted to steal things. Before you even understood what it's stealing Because I didn't understand the concept of stealing or money. Or ownership. Right. Okay. So like four or five, like I, I was that kid that's like very polite, but is just eating shit right off the shelf. Oh, wow. Because because okay. mom can't quite get it through my yeah. head that the value of money, that money's a thing. Um, yeah, no, we learned that nice and early because we were, like, reciting the Ten Commandments. As, uh, like, fucking yeah, my parents didn't raise me too From the good. beginning. Yeah. And hey, Thou Shall Not Steal was one of them. Hey. So. Like four or five? It's, you, like, up there, right? Okay. What? Thou Shall Not Steal? Yeah, it's pretty up there. Yeah. I mean... I, I, I can start at the top of you. Yeah, you can't. You can't. Yeah, you have it memorized, but you can't pick and choose. Uh, well, because I have the full versions in my head, yeah, not the one sentence truncated. Versions. Oh, I did not know that they were yeah. truncated. They made a statue of me. I wouldn't. And God that. spake all these words, saying, "I, the Lord like thy God, this. have brought thee out of the lands of Egypt, out of, out of the house of bondage. Thou shalt have no other gods before me." That's number one. Yeah, that's number one. Um, yeah. Number one. Yeah, thou shalt not take unto thee. Uh, any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in the heaven above or in the earth beneath or in the waters under the earth. Tell that to the Catholics. <laughs> Don't bow down thyself <laughs> to them nor serve them. Yeah. Right, Lord, they got him a jealous God it's visiting the iniquity of the fathers. Hey, God, hey, God, hey, God, hold on, hold on, yeah. hold on. Okay, I want to make. I tried asking, but. Like a big golden <laughs> bull. <laughs> How do you feel about a. Like a. Like it'll be fucking huge. It's big. Oh, they have the biggest gold dick on it. Mm. To worship it. And what are you what are you gonna do around that? Oh, uh, we're gonna steal each other's wives. Okay, okay. And uh, what what else? What else are you so thinking? What kind of party are we talking about here? Uh, I'm gonna beat up my mom and dad right Elegant beforehand. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, and then warrior. I'm gonna kill people. And uh, the blood of those people. You're, oh, you're going to, oh, dude. Oh, I'm rusty. Sacrifice and spread the blood on everyone and have orgies in front of this big bull. Big uh, cool how do, like yeah, this? sounds good to I me. I might get a goat head and put it on. No, Here. perfect. Yeah. Sounds great. Okay. Hey, Moses, walk this way. I'm going to kill those fools. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to kill everybody. I'm a wrathful like god. A Moses. Get your well, niggas in line, because I'm about so to burn some motherfuckers. Moses. <laughs> Moses. Now, you and me, we're cool, right? You're a good guy. Your 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 guys down there, though? <laughs> Dumbasses. Fucking idiot. You gotta get them in line, man. Why? I don't have time for this. Actually, don't you have to? No, 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 no don't have time for this. Why is this bush talking to me? Why is it on fire? Like, and, and, and then, of course, the idea of him, him, come, him coming back down from the mountain. Like, these are the 15... Oh shit, crash. 10... That's 10 like, commandments! Okay? Oh man, there were some good ones in there. <laughs> oh, fuck, yeah. No, you leave for one second, and then everyone loses their goddamn Don't mind. Don't double dip the chip, man. It's like putting your whole mouth in the bowl. It's, it's just rude, really. It's... 
It's pretty rude. Just get a big helping of, of stuff on your first chip. Yeah. And you know, there's all kinds of technicalities too with the whole like technically thou shalt not kill is really thou shalt not murder. Yeah, which is a very very important distinction. <laughs> murder is yeah. not kill. Because um, when you're at war, you're not murdering anyone. No, sometimes. but there's times when... It's Just dash those babies against the rocks. You know? They were combatants. Hey, kids, <laughs> you making fun of that old man? Here's a bunch of wolves and bears oh my God, that's my in unison that's my attacking together oh, to maul you what's apart. His, what's his name? Uh, um, um, uh, uh, it was my, I think it was Elisha. Elisha! Uh, it's, it's like, you know, I know. Ha, ha, ha. go up, bald I head. Hear you're bald. Hey, Baldy! <laughs> what up, shiny head? Oh, a bunch of wolves! <laughs> <laughs> Attack the kids! A storm. Oh, the wither. A storm. Oh, of the man, beast. that's no, the best one! Just wither. I like, and I, I like to imagine it as, like, almost like, like a single unit. And like a Katamari. You know, just, just rolls by and, and then just back bones and, and fucking <laughs> children with their eyes hanging out. Out. Oh, man, it's Our the best. left. Oh, it's the fucking best. Oh, it's a monster. Don't make fun of ball people. <laughs> You'll get attacked by wolves. <laughs> Fuck, man. Oh, whoa, we've been playing for so not long and the, the fucking mouse controls kick back in. Is that what happened? Yeah, or one of us hit the mouse at some point. I think one of us was Okay. Yeah, yeah. Even though the mouse is nowhere near me. I just couldn't. Hey, don't covet. That's one of the good ones. Don't covet. Don't covet things. Don't be. Don't uh, covet your neighbor's you okay? house or his wife or his ox or his ass. <laughs> yep. Don't do it. Or his manservants or his maidservants or whatever. Just don't. Don't envy. No. Stop it. It's it, and you know what? Good advice, because envy leads to some dark emotions. But here's the fucked up thing about that one. There's yeah. no action involved in that one. Yeah. It's just a feeling. Don't have the feeling. Don't have the feeling. Yeah. That's that's a that's a fucking crazy one, because even worshiping, you have to kind of sort of do something there. Yeah. You know? Um and, and Well, one is like respect thy mother and thy father, but that's like Yeah. That's like through action. Through action. Like no, like you don't have to respect them in your heart, but yeah, sh shut you know, up. And shut up at the dinner table. Yeah, I don't know. And stealing and killing and 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 you those know, are actions. Whatever and you know, uh, worshiping God and no false idols. But fucking coveting, it's like that might just happen. Well, don't. That's a rough one. Yeah, that's a rough one. So I guess only super rich people can do that one, because they have it all. Oh, that's why you get to buy yourself into the kingdom of heaven. Oh, that's a good idea. No, you can't. You know why? Why? Because it is easier for a donkey to pass through the eye of a needle. It's a camel, isn't it? Oh, uh, whatever. It's then an old for, <laughs> Then for a rich man to enter the kingdom of heaven. There you go. There's your, your Bible study for today. That's a good one. Hey. Hey. Oh, I had, a, I had an addendum to that, but I forgot. I wonder if All right, unless you live in... 14th to 15th century Europe, and you can just yeah. buy indulgences. indulgences! Indulgences! Yeah! That's it's like, the good shit. It's like a carbon tax for your soul. Oh man, indulgences ruled. Fucking do anything. It, indulgences is the most crooked shit that has ever existed in the history of fucking anything. <laughs> I mean, this was the same. Cheat on your wife? Pay us 30 bucks? It's like it didn't happen yep. in front of God. Yeah, I mean, this was the same church that was sending- Could you imagine? This is the same church sending that, that had off. Assassin's Creed villains hey, as their posts. Going into, you know what I mean? <laughs> da Borgia. So, like, yeah. Ugh. It, it ain't too surprising. There's something useful in here. Not to mention the whole, like, I, keep, I always go back to it, but Constantine. It's like, hey, man, if we can, if we convert the, uh, fucking, this, the, the, the ruler of all of Rome into one of ours, then you're gonna stop feeding us to the lions, right? Yeah. But our religion doesn't work with his holidays. So just change that shit. All right, done. Wait, no, wait, what? Hey, hey, Constantine, check it out. Christianity's awesome. It's the exact same as what you already do. Just change like four names. Just change. 
<laughs> Just switch the names around. Omen. Everything's the same. You I'm still get Sundays or Sundays is the day TNT. off, and uh, yeah. you, you still party at the Coliseum on Saturday, December twenty fourth, <laughs> Holy Day, where me. Uh, uh, G Jesus was born. Yeah, just move it a couple days over. Just move it a couple days over. Totally fine. It's still really dark. You know? It's still really <laughs> dark on that day. <laughs> yeah, Yoster, we whatever. Just no, no. It's, uh, no it's, uh, it's Jesus came back. No, and he likes rabbits. He came, he came back, and he rabbits died. have a lot of uh, rebirth. They're you know perfect. You cannot stop. It's great. Oh, but but we still call it Sunday, and that's when we worship the sun on the Sunday. No, hey, wait, no, wait, 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 wait. No, 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 well, that's not even the weirder one. The weirder one is Thursday. Uh, uh, Jeudi? No, Thursday. Thursday is literally Thursday. 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 <laughs> right, right, right. Sorry, because I was going to lose Mark Mars D, but yeah. yeah Thursday. Basically. When all of those ancient cultures and their religions kind of murdered each other into a big orgy pile. There you go. It kind of mixed up a few things. Nah. Did they just teleport? Anyway, but the thing with that was that, like, now we're not gonna have Christians to feed to the lions, and we don't have, like, Saturday night Christian eating live. You know? Not you, not the order! Nah. We'll find a new thing. My story. And they did. I know, I know I've brought it up before, but there's there's one thing about the Colosseum because you've seen a lot. Of, you've seen probably three or four movies at least that had called like Roman oh, yeah, Colosseum yeah, yeah, battles, yeah, yeah, all that yeah. shit. All that shit. So the coolest thing about the Colosseum was something that I've never seen replicated in any story, game, or TV show, and that was. That you could divert the aqueduct could into the Colosseum and flood the entire lower chamber me. and have oh, mock oh, naval oh, battles. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not all of them, but some of them actually had boats going around. Yeah. And fighting little naval wars. But the, sh the, what the, the crazy shit about that is how do you not have innocent bystanders getting fucking blown the oh, fuck who, up? Who cares? Slash, how do you not just aim your boat like uh, uh, weapons at the Emperor? You know what I mean? The Emperor is so fucking far away. Remember, this is the era of arrows at best. A, you're, a nice composite longbow could fucking do yeah, some work, if, though. Yeah, but composite longbows were never made for accuracy. Composite longbows were made so that your whole army could aim kind of up and at the other play. guy, and just, and just yeah. this wall of death would hit them. Blot out the sun, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Like, the, your kill range as a human being is like 50 Jesse? feet tops. Let me go. The guys at the top of the Coliseum, like, jerking off, probably, surrounded by a bunch of guards. Mock naval battles. That's some fuck. Well, mo when I say mock, it's only because it's not on the real ocean, but they were totally murdering they filled, each they other. They filled them in the water and yeah. they yeah, throw yeah. some alligators in there. Yeah. yeah. And they'll, they'll teach the lions to swim. That is the height <laughs> of lavishness. We're going to yeah. import deadly creatures. We to fight people. We put lions on Enter the boats. The rail, Ivor. We're not and lying. yeah, perfect. You know that must have. That, there's some. There's one thing about that era that I kind of romanticize, and it's the feeling of like going to a zoo or going to a, a, a murder death battle, right, or whatever. And somebody brings out like an elephant, and you get to go, what the. What the fuck is that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What the fuck is that? Beasts <laughs> that you've created. Right. Yeah, you? absolutely. Will this parade of what devil has <laughs> been fucking, like, contained What's going on? and brought to us? It today. might as well be an ogre. Stop. <laughs> I, like, no, that's that's the one thing, is like, oh. like if you've never seen anything resembling an alligator, yeah. and then you, you're that's a monster. It is. It's there is no in-between on that. Well, it's, uh, I remember a million years ago, I saw this clip of, like, a, a, a lady taking a video of her baby at the zoo. And, you know, those super, super, super thick glass, like, yeah, things, yeah. But, and you can go underneath and the, the tiger's right there. Yeah. She puts her baby, like, right, right, up against, right against the glass. And the, the tiger is, like, trying to eat her baby yeah. through the glass. Stop and she's like, ah, oh, ha, ha, ha. And, like, the first call is, like... Bitch, that monster's trying to eat your baby, <laughs> right? And it's like, yes, no, tigers are cute and and pretty, but like they're monsters. Yeah, the alligators and it was hippos, uh, all that shit. I remember that Next clip because like the Minecraft teeth were coming up against the glass and scratching the glass, and it yeah. was like, oh, my mouth is just the right heroes. side, <laughs> just the right side. I could side. just eat this baby so good. Why are you holding a chicken nugget up to my glass? 
dark. <laughs> why you hold? Why? Why did you dip that McNugget in, in sweet and sour sauce? Especially human babies is like the most like useless and unable to defend themselves babies in all of animal kind. And it makes noise, so you know exactly where it is at yeah. all times, and it can't move. God. Well, except for except if they hear wolves. Good babies shut their fucking mouths when they hear wolves or our dogs howling. What? You didn't know that? Where'd you get that? You never seen every video ever of a husky next to a baby, and if the husky howls, the baby stops to stops crying. Is that baked into us? It's because babies that don't stop crying when they get hear wolves fucking eight. get fucking eight. <laughs> wow! I didn't know that. No shit. Yeah. That's some. Sh that's some like genetic. We have been trained. Wow. Wow, that's cool, because I know that, like, spiders and scorpions and things with multiple legs that look like that naturally, like, make your, your spine tingle. Yeah. And they creep you out a little bit at the very least because poison. poison. Yeah. Yeah. It's the same reason why bitter is not a popular taste, because most poison is bitter. Yeah, 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 okay. Wow, when, I, when a fucking wolf goes off, eh? Yeah. Interesting. Now, it's not all babies, because that's been a long time since that's been the case. Oh, yeah, 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 no. But, like, yeah, no. And it's not like you'd have that, though, for, like, a, a lion roaring or anything, because we didn't have that problem up here. Nope. Well, most people didn't. And lions don't usually roar all that much, uh. honestly. Like, wolves howl constantly, right? They're like, because they talk. Yeah. But lions are quiet and stealthy and murderous. But that that was also back, uh, harkening back to a time when, like, you just have disposable babies. Because you just have so fucking many and you didn't expect the life expectancy of any of them to go past, like, four. And then the ones that did, you're like, hey, we might have, we might have a dude. We might have a dude here. Maybe, no, 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 you got the plague. All right, well, we lost him. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like, it's like you, you kind of like, you just, <sighs> like life was attrition. It was a war of attrition and you sent babies we, out yeah. into the wild. No, wait, what? No, you didn't. Not into the wild, but I mean, you brought them into life. Yeah. And then you just kind of hung around and went, all right, one of these 14 is going to make it. Yeah. And I need the other 13 to help me kill that elephant. You, well, you know, if he comes stamping through, you toss one up and you, you left some bait. Yeah. And you can get the rest I of I don't think poison. that's a real thing. No, maybe not. No. Maybe not. Maybe that's just you. I'm just saying that, like, you babies know... Babies make good elephant bait? I'm saying that if one in Put ten... Put that on the back of the box. If one in ten babies does make noise while the wolves are howling... Yeah. You know why. Yeah. One in ten's pretty okay. Yeah, you know, the math of the life figures its life figures itself out. <laughs> that That's that's what we came to? Life figures itself Life out. Life will just figure out a way. Nine babies will go uneaten by wolves. Life... <laughs> Unless you live in, like, wolf town. Yeah, well, you know, that wolf gets a meal, he's happy. It's fine. Man, wolves aren't a problem anymore. We made sure of that. <laughs> yeah. I wish I had a wolf, though. Quick, keep filling time. We still have the credits. Yeah, I'm still trying to fill time. Yeah, I know. You, okay, okay, if I got it, like, just like I, I kind of want a wolf, yeah. I wish if I was going to get a cat, I would get one of those big, like, tiger bengal type things that are not like actually... Like a liger? No, 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 because it's still a cat, but it looks... Like, like big? It looks like a big wild cat, but it's not. It's super... Okay, well, you'd want a Maine Coon, then. Uh, Maine Coons are the biggest cats. Hmm. Uh, Elmo, right? Elmo is half Maine Coon, and he's that big. Uh, so a Maine Coon is about sixty percent. A full Maine Coon is about sixty percent larger. It, does that have the, the spots on it? Like, is that the type? No, 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 no. They, they have all different colors. There's a type. There's a type that I can't remember the name of. That I was like, oh shit, that looks really cool. But like, is like how big are we talk? Can you ride it? No. No. Oh. Wooly, you can't ride any cat. No, You're too I can't, large. I can't ride any. Cats, also, cats would not let a human being ride them. No, no. That, no. They are not gonna do that. But you know, you see the orcs riding like the saber tooths and things like happen, that. That's not gonna happen, man. Uh, cats are not gonna do Like the, the line in between a house cat and a tiger is a lot thinner than you would think. They're just small cat, big cats. They're just small, big cats. Sure. That can't kill and eat you. And didn't, like, Drizzt ride like a wolf or whatever? Yeah, but he's an elf. Oh. He's a dark elf. He can ride any panther he wants. And he just touch the animal. With his double... Double... So... <laughs> Double-sided... Double blades, whatever the fuck. So, like... The, let's talk about Drizzt. The Dante of the elf Drizzt, world. You have, like, 30 seconds. Drizzt Dorden is really cool. And I marked out when I met him in Baldur's Gate 2. 
and your party marks out too. Because everyone's a fanboy. But like, Drizdo Erden may be the worst influence on fantasy of all time in games in which you can pick your own character. Worse than Fizban and Fist and Dantalus? Way worse, dude. Okay. Dude, play World of Warcraft and Every single goddamn night elf is some fucking- How many ways can you spell Drizzt? Well, considering it's a bullshit name with bad spelling, there's a lot. Oh, we done? We done! <laughs>